Hello. Today I want to talk about a film that came out in 2013. Um, one that I just rewatched not that long ago, and um, it's been one that I <clears throat> wanted to talk about for a while anyway. And um, I thought since I just saw it not too long ago, why why not talk about it now? Um, and that film is Prisoners. Starring Hugh Jackman, Jake Gyllenhaal, um, Viola Davis, uh, Maria Bello, Terrence Howard, Melissa Leo, and Paul Dano. Um, in short, this film is about uh, 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 Maria Bello, uh, Hugh Jackman, Maria Bello. Uh, you know, their family goes over to Terrence Howard and Viola Davis is a. Uh, place for Thanksgiving and they have two daughters young daughters who you know they go to uh, their place to go and get a whistle that Hugh Jackman's daughter has and they uh, out of their way there they uh, are taken by somebody and um, prior to that they were with their older siblings you know um, walking around outside after like Thanksgiving dinner and all and um they saw an RV that was parked, and there's radio, and somebody was in there, obviously. And so, um, seems as if once the uh, um, they go to get the whistle, you know, they live not too far. They're able to walk, you know, down the street. And, uh, you know, uh, go that way. You don't have to go and, like, you know, just drive. So, by the time they left, uh, they were, you know, were abducted. And so, you know, who, who took them? Um, everything seems to point to a guy named Alex Jones, played by Paul Dano, and his aunt, uh, um, Holly. Is uh, played by Melissa Leo, and th throughout the film, you know, and there's um, and Jake Gyllenhaal is a detective, Detective Loki, and um, you know, throughout the film, there's um, some twists and turns. You know, just when you think you know something, you know, something may come up, and um, it's quite interesting film, all, all uh, honestly, and there's also like. Other patterns dating many years of um, kids going missing and never being found. And, um, um, so it seems like this has been patterned for quite some time, you know, like decades. Um, and it, it's very interesting. Um, it's made, directed by uh, David Villeneuve and um, written by Aaron. Goswalski. I think that's the name. I could be completely wrong. Um, Mark Wahlberg is an executive producer of this film, and um, honestly, all in all, you know, uh, on the off chance you haven't seen this film, um, you know, I don't want to give too much away. Um, the performances are excellent, you know, especially by Hugh Jackman and Jake Gyllenhaal. Um, really incredible film. Um, it's a mystery film. It's a you know thriller. Um, really good. Um, uh, 153 minutes, so you know a little over two and a half hours. I think also in many ways this is an Oscar-worthy film. You know, uh, you know Hugh Jackman gives an incredible performance, as does Jake Gyllenhaal. Um, Paul Dano is excellent. Melissa Leo. You know, every everyone involved is incredible. Well, those are some of the standout performances. Um, I guess in a way you could see uh, Jackman and Gyllenhaal as like the lead. So if they were going to get nominated, you know, I guess both would be for Best Actor. But you know, who knows? Sometimes you know uh, they sometimes demote a, a co-lead. 
into supporting. That way, perhaps there's more equal chance of sorts of one winning, uh, uh, as opposed to sometimes out and out canceling each other out. Um, so in that regard, perhaps Jake Gyllenhaal would have been demoted into supporting actor, um, kind of like uh, you know um, Al Pacino in The Godfather. He was the co-lead of the of The Godfather, had more screen time than Marlon Brando, but like at the Academy Awards, he was put in Best Supporting Actor with James Caan and Robert Duvall. Which, because of that, he protested the Oscars because he's like, how can I have more screen time than Brando but be put in Supporting Actor? You know, it didn't seem like he cared if he won or not, but it's like that just made no sense to him. And I think that's a fairly uh, fair critique. Um, but yeah, um, this film did get nominated for Best Cinematography, um, but you know, in terms of like the acting and such, unfortunately, major awards did not acknowledge this film, um, but it's really good, um, you know, and, uh, Hugh Jackman's character, Killer Dover, he's, he's very religious and so and because of this uh the fact that his daughter and his good friend's daughter are missing you know and believes he knows who did it and um certain things are said and heard that seems to uh, pinpoint that you know paul dano's character uh he uh, you know alex jones he seems to have a clue of sorts even though he has like a very low IQ and um, you know he's able to like drive a bit but you know it doesn't seem like his capacity is very broad he's able to do certain things but you know outside of that it's like it seems like if he couldn't kidnap any anybody um, without fumbling or messing up in some way and so if he did it you know he, he has to have been either actually has to be smarter than what everybody seems to believe or he had help and who would have helped him could be his aunt could it be somebody else you know and um you know i because it's like you know you gotta think of things like a uh, you know how could he do it if he has such a low iq and, um, and also, because, you know, Jackman's character is very religious, it does, you know, uh, have something where, you know, how far will you go to try and save your own kids? Like, you know, he's you know, very religious, and he's, you know, there's certain things, like, you know, in religion, like Christianity, like, you're to do and not to do. And so a lot of that is tested, and so, and then he, especially when he uh, kidnaps Alex, and he's like basically tortures him, tries to get him to talk, and so it's like you know these are terrible things, and yet under the circumstances you understand, and you're you know you're for him in, in the sense of you want him to find his daughter and his great friend's daughter. That way they're safe, and one of them, uh, you know, Viola Davis and Terrence Howard's daughter, is in the film, you know she does escape and so it's like well now we gotta find uh, Hugh Jackman's daughter and uh, Maria Bella's daughter they, it's like this is just like time is of the essence and they need to find them as fast as possible because you know you know like the first 48 hours are important and crucial and to any crime like kidnapping and such so that's very apparent, and, you know, it's it's one of those things where you're like, you know, what what's going to happen? Uh, are they going to find her in time? Are they not? And um, it's just very, 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 uh, very good film. I actually saw this in the theater when it came out, and um, loved it immediately. Uh, really good story. Performances incredible, as I said. You know, um, 
Oscar-worthy performances, and it's just just an incredible film overall. It's it's just so well made. Um, of course, Denis Villeneuve also made Sicario, Blade Runner twenty forty nine, um, the new Dune, which I have yet to see. I know that might be surprising to some people, but I haven't seen the new Dune as of now. Um, though of course I'm making this in advance. So by the time you see this, maybe I have seen it already. But um, I have seen a lot of people praise it, but I've also seen some people being fairly mixed um, about that film. Um, but overall, from the films I have seen, the Villeneuve is a very fine director. You know, I don't know if this or Sicario is my favorite film of his. You know, it's very tight. I think I might lean towards Sicario, but if I do, this is a very close second for me. I really love this film. Uh, it's just it's just an incredible uh, movie. Um, yeah. well, you know, um, even though it's uh, like nine years old, um, this film, I notice, isn't talked about as much, so... On the off chance you haven't seen this, I don't want to, you know, spoil everything. You know, I know I've given away certain plot points, but, you know, you know, it's very interesting to see how this goes from beginning to end and how everything um, ends. And in a way, I guess there's sort of like a question as to the end, too. But, um, again, I don't want to get into that um, because, you know, it's not talked about as much anymore and so um, it's like there's like a period of time where this was really discussed and talked about and now some years later you know it's in, it's seen as an excellent film uh, rightfully so but it's not seen as as one that is constantly talked about you know for one reason or another um, perhaps it's one of those things that's like it's it's so good that you know praise it and then there you go it's like what do you do afterwards uh, I could give it enough praise that it deserves, and then there you go. Sometimes there's movies that are like that, where you can talk about how much you enjoy it, like this, that, and whatever, but uh, up to a point, it's like, you know, what more can you say? Um, so, yeah, that's um, really all I have uh, to say about this film right now. Um, if you haven't seen this film, I think it's it, it'd be very good. It's really good um, to see uh, um, excellent performances and writing. Direction's fantastic. Um, yeah, I just recommend this film to anybody who is interested in a, seeing a thriller that you haven't seen before. I think it's actually worth it. And. Um, I hope uh, all of you are having a great day. Hope you're all having a great week and a great weekend. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.